so what is problem and what is solution so man experiences human being experiences these kinds of thing every day uh, in every part of their life every time everywhere sometimes they experience some problem and they try to find solution actually this problem and solution are the one and same thing it is just separation the terminology given by human mind actually there is no problem and there is no solution there is just event event and that will that event is labeled by someone as problem and someone by solution when i experienced this one thing when i was a child and my mobile phone do you know yes you know my mobile phone my mobile phone went wrong i don't know what happened but i tried myself to repair it and i could not repair it my mobile phone i searched on internet many methods to repair and i was so exhausted i could not find any solutions i was not able to find solution and after about 2 days of constantly trying to repair it myself by searching internet i thought that that may be software issue and that may not be hardware issue so i can repair it myself if i go to repair repair shop they may charge money so i tried myself to repair it but after great exhaustion i could not repair it and i went to and thought day i went to shop and he to that mobile and repaired in 5 minute so i could not repair in 2 days he repaired in 5 minutes that was the great problem for me and that was solution for the mechanic who repaired it so the event was same that mobile phone went wrong and that that i was taking it as a problem that mechanic took uh, from the side point view of solution so this is a single coin i was facing on this side and i was seeing the problem the mechanic was facing on this side and there is solution so everything is like this whatever looks problem to you may be solution to someone else or that may look solution to you you as well if you look from this side not from this side how can i say you how can i explain you i am not able to think but uh, don't take anything seriously on this universe don't think anything seriously you are a tiny 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 speck micro micro speck micro speck on this universe that you don't have any value in this universe this vast infinite universe and we don't know the extent of the universe from where it in, in starts where it ends and on this universe there are vast majority of celestial bodies galaxies stars so many things so many celestial bodies and on this one is solar system and on that solar system many planets are there and among that one is earth and on earth there is two third is filled with water and one third is land on on that land there are many countries on that countries there are many people and um, and many creatures many living living non living things many species among that species human being is one among that human being one is you so what are you and this in universe realize yourself so this is just creation of this universe and one thing i like to tell you that whatever starts will end if there is birth to someone there is certainly death there was birth of dinosaurus age and there was end of dinosaurus age 
and there is birth of human civilization on this planet and that is subject to that is 100 percent if this human civilization is going to end one day there is no doubt on it but because whatever is uh, whatever has born has to die and some another species will dominate on this planet in future that is truth that is truth so why are you so engaged and taking this life so seriously why are you acquiring this materials this wealth on this planet what will you do what will you do by gathering this wealth and this and accumulating a heap of wealth will your child do you want to secure the future of your child so that they don't have to crisis that is another aspect i won't talk to it at aspect in this video that is emotional aspect and this emotional has aspect of human mind this cerebral activity has mad people crazy this emotion feeling temptation instinct and this these feelings these emotions have mad people crazy crazy they they are actually if you go on comparing a plant they don't care their child another plant who is their child or they don't care their surroundings because they don't have cerebral activity they grow themselves they forget fruit and they don't care whoever pluck their fruit or who pluck their flower because they don't have cerebral activity they just just, just it is a just a life without cerebral activity they don't have emotions they don't experience it but human beings have this cerebral activity and they should have utilized in their own favor for their growth for the growth of humanity but it is the greatest misery that they have fallen prey of their cerebral activity themselves so when a mind starts regulating you it becomes problem when you regulate your mind then that is solution i am trying to explain it from different perspective how are you perceiving i don't know i i don't have excellent teaching skills actually what i am i have experienced myself is sharing with you so whatever works for you you can utilize from my words if it don't work for you you can search alternative methods whatever works for you but whatever i i have experienced it in my life because i have also went through lots of turmoils in my head lots of turmoils means ups and downs and these feelings emotions have really greatly troubled me and uh, so much troubled me that at one point i also thought of ending this life and how i overcame this i am sharing with you so basically i was previously thinking that meditation is nothing it is just watching your thoughts what can it do it do it for me but actually it has it is miracle miracle for me miracle actually i started observing my thoughts my feelings my emotions i detached my body and mind from my myself those spiritual people tell that you are so you are not this body not this mind watch this body watch this mind as a distant observer 
uh, like uh, when you are an helicopter uh, and you see from that helicopter on the below and you see there is lot of traffic jam but you see it is amazing view that is beautiful view because the lights are glowing cars cars bikes have lights glowing and you see this that is actually there is traffic jam but it is amazing view for you but that same situation is very troublesome for the people who are stuck in traffic that jam for one hour and that is the same event that you are experiencing it that it is amazing view so when you engage yourself with this body you can't have that amazing view if you want to have that amazing view of your life you have to dissociate your body and mind and i have experienced it and i have experienced it because your sense organs the sense organs these are outward bound and you never have practice of realizing your inner self because constantly you have evolved from animal and there is constant these sense organs are utilized to either get pleasure or protect defend themselves from other dangers so constantly we are trying to protect ourselves with these sense organs but even at this stage we have developed and we don't have so much danger of other animals and we are protected but still these sense organs are outward bound to protect ourselves yes that is to a limited extent good but when you these sense organs go out of control then that also causes lots of problem to human being and you already know it and have experienced it even if your mind tells that it is bad no i mean to say that i have divided this part into mind and intellect even if your intellect tells that it is bad don't do this but your mind does does that why your intellect is not able to control over your mind because since your birth your mind is working your intellect has only started working for a limited period of time since when you gathered this data from the surrounding and that is your collection of the data that is intellect and what people call this conscious subconscious mind when you operate from that intellect level that is conscious mind and when you operate from that mind level that is subconscious mind and you have practice of operating from that subconscious level every time since you are born and that is in every living creatures they don't have intellect but they defend themselves they do their activity levels they do their stops that is from their mind level from their they have instinct and their temptations and what makes people one people different from their another people is the intellect because everyone has a mind subconscious level and that is almost the same similar to animals those have also have instinct or temptations instinct means those fooding eating drinking seeking pleasures from the surroundings feeling gratifications sex okay so the every living beings have this the sense thing temptation that but they don't have intellect to start up that they can gather and they can execute so what makes one people different from in another people is that is that the degree of intellect they have and this intellect can be acquired from education learning from surroundings learning from books hearing intellectual people and as much as the collection of intellect goes on your 
your this head tries to operate from that intellect level and tries to control that mind but still mind is very powerful still mind is very powerful because it has always operated even if you are in sleep mind is working not consciousness level because your consciousness is down your intellect is down when you are just uh, waking up from sleep in the morning you may have experienced that is the when you experience a little consciousness that is subconscious level that you are transitioning from subconscious to conscious level and when you fully wake up you are going into conscious level and that transitioning you may have experienced something i don't need to explain that and whatever you experience at that time that is your stored in your subconscious level and how to conquer this subconscious level and how to utilize this in your favor i have also talked in another video if you want to watch this that you can watch it there is a tricks to utilize this subconscious level in your favor because this subconscious mind is very very powerful 